Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, please do make sure you are subscribed and you also have your notification all set up so you do not miss anything every time I upload. And today I wanted to show you how I achieved this beautiful, beautiful peachy look. It's so easy, you guys. So if you are interested in wanting to see how I achieved it, please do stay tuned. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun today, darling. Okay. So I started off this whole look using the Fenty Beauty. This is the uh, a bloating, bloating powder. And all I did is just put it on my eyelid. I already prepped my eye using the Fenty Beauty, uh, what is it, concealer, which is in the color 420. And I, all I was doing was just prepping it. And I'm using the P. Louise Secret Center palette. You guys, this palette is amazing. And I'm using that color Love Struck, which is the darkest brown on that palette but because of you know i'm like a woman of color so i that color is not that pigmented on on this look right now but i will show you how i was able to get it to be a little bit more darker and then i used a second color um i'm sorry i did not put this color on here i forgot what the name of the color is but it's right next to the secret the uh, love struck color i forgot like it's the yeah it's the color obsessed and now i'm going to be using the s and m which is the third color so i'm using it right at the top of all those two colors that i just used and the brushes that i'm using these are um from morphe and this is the m506 and i'm using the color love shy so love shy is more dark and uh, this is the color that we're going to use to uh, to have the depth of a deepness color, just as you see on the other eye that I started with. And now using the uh, P. Louise Base Rumor Number no. One, I'm not going to be doing a cut crease, but almost like a, I don't know how to explain, but it's almost like I'm fluffing it, and I'm using a more fluffy brush. This is also by Morphe Brushes. I kind of like forgot what is the name. It doesn't have a name. The brush doesn't have a name on it. But all I'm doing is I'm I'm not cutting a crease. I'm just like creating. You know like just an eyelid so that i can be able to put uh, the next color on right and what i'm doing now i'm going back to the that a dark color that i use i'm just cleaning all the edges of the concealer that i just put on like i said i'm not doing a cut crease I'm, so i'm just trying to make it to look more nice right And now I'm using the, uh, whoo, oh my goodness, darlings. I did not put all the information of the uh, color that I used for the eyelid, but it was more of the peachy color from the palette. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting it on uh, the concealer that I just put on, uh, I mean the base from um, the P. Louise base. And uh, yeah, the, the, what I love about this palette, the Secrecina palette, is it doesn't, it's not patchy at all. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Uh, this is the liner, a li uh, li <laughs> yeah, it's just the liner. And uh, the brush that I'm using, I got this brush from Walmart and I kind of like, it's one of those painting brushes. So I'm using it on here just to make sure that I have a nice liner on there and now i'm using the morphe brush again as just to spread that uh, that liner nicely so again i'm not trying to make it look like super glamorous right so i'm going back to love struck uh that first color that i used i do not want to have this liner as dark so i want the liner to look the same as the um 
you know, as the top of the eye, right? And I'm prepping for my lashes. I'm just using a curler and uh, yeah, just to wake my lashes up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the uh, Big Eagle by Tarte Mascara. And uh, all I do, that's just what I do. And I don't put a lot of mascara because I'm gonna be putting uh, falsies. Okay, so now we're moving on to the face. I'm using the foundation primer by Laura Mercier and this is in the color Radiance. And yeah, I I bought this a while ago and I haven't been using as much as I should be using it. And yeah, I really did like it and I'm using the Tarte, the Blendiful by Tarte. And uh, yeah, I'm just using that to spread the whole uh, product on there. Um, I did a review, a full review of this product, the Blenderful, the stuff that I'm using. And uh, that's on my other channel, my Madame channel. I'm going to put something at the top here so you can see, uh, you know, like what I said about it. But all in all, it's a great product, you guys. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Other people have their own things to say, but I have no bad things to say so now i'm using the foundation again by laura mercier Woo! and uh, the foundation is a 6w1 ganache color ganache but i found it a little bit darker because it's it's been winter the winters here is, it's still winter the winters here is really really long and i don't get to get the sun that much so <laughs> i wanted to fix that because it does look a little bit more dark and i'm using the fancy beauty foundation uh this is in the color what color is this this is four four five and as you can see you know there's a huge difference on there right and uh again i'm gonna use the blender fall because you can use it on um uh, you, you can use liquid liquid products with it to blend all your products onto your skin and uh, that's what I'm doing right now again using it to blend my foundation I love this product you guys like this blends a full it's amazing for me in my opinion my opinion so yeah it blends the uh, the product pretty perfectly and I have no bad things to say about this product so far okay And I'm using the Stay Naked uh, Correcting Concealer in the color 70NY. As you can see, it's a, it's a bit more lighter. Uh, the reason why I use this is because of the foundation looked a little bit more darker, right? So I was trying to have my under eyes to be a little bit more lightened, so to say. <laughs> And again, I'm using the smaller blender fall. So I'm using this one just to blend my concealer. And uh, yeah, it just works the same as the bigger blender fall. But this one, for me, I just kind of like feel like I can use it perfectly as uh, to blend my concealers. You know, it just works perfectly. I do feel like uh, comparing it with the beauty blender i still feel like this one i'm kind of loving this one at the moment i'm you know i'm just gonna give my plans of my uh my my beauty blenders a rest for a little bit now <laughs> and now i am using the translucent powder by laura mercier and this is in the color what color is this oh my god this is medium deep and as you can see it's not too much on the face it's just it just bakes the face super perfectly, right? And now we are going to contour the face using the Huda Beauty Tanto in the color tan or tan, you know, tomato, tomato, however you say it, darling.
and I'm just gonna blend it in using my blender fall as you can see the blender for uh, multi you know you can use it for anything whatever that you want to blend in they're just super perfect you guys I love them And now I am going to set my face and prep it using the, what is it, the In, the, the in Beauty project, In Beauty project. And uh, the spray, I got it uh, from my, um, what is it, the Boxy Charm, I think a couple months ago. And yeah, so this is the first time using it on this channel, even on myself. And now I used the um, the contour palette, um, and that's what I'm doing right now, just to you know set that tantor that I used earlier. And now we're going back to the under eyes. So basically, I'm just doing um, putting all the colors that I put at the top, you know, and. And just just blending them so that they blend together with the top color so it's really nice and uh, you know just seamless right <laughs> so that's all I'm doing uh, there's a lot of blending I just fast forwarded the video here but yeah you know you gotta take your time and blend and blend make sure everything looks perfect and now using the Too Faced pretty rich and I'm going to use this one color, Diamond Glitterati. Yeah, Diamond Glitterati. So I'm using that as the teardrop of my eyes, but I'm not making it as a teardrop. I just wanted it to have that nice, you know, that nice shimmer uh, just to complement the rest of the eye look. And I'm using the uh, blush by Juvia's Place. This one's called Bella. Oh my goodness, I love this blush. My goodness, it's just so perfect, especially in the fall, especially in the winter. This is just my go-to all the time. Now using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette, and I'm going to be using the colors on the bottom there. I'm going to be using Aruba and Bora Bora, darling. Okay. So using just my, my small little brush and making sure that I just concentrate on my high cheekbones. Okay. <laughs> Concentrating on that and uh, also my nose a little bit and just go back and blend, blend that highlighter because we don't want to be going outside looking crazy. Now I use the blender for just to make sure I don't have harsh lines with that blend. And I'm using the Morphe Glam Bronze bronzer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's all I just do. You know, you know the drill, right? You know the drill, you know how to bronze already. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is in Unveil. This is the Stana Lip Paint. And uh, yeah, I love this lip paint. It's so, so perfect for the look that I'm going for today. I'm using the Makeup Revolution. Uh, this is in the matte uh, head turner. And I'm just gonna create an ombre kind of look. 
darling so i'm just gonna be trying something new here and i, I feel like these colors they complement each other and uh, all i do is i just put the product together and just press my lips together and then just use my finger that's all i do you can use a brush on this one if you wish whatever that works for you you know <laughs> this is just what i wanted to do so i just use my fingers and voila works like a charm using the urban decay all nighter setting spray and yeah if you've been watching my channel you would know that this has been my favorite so far <laughs> I'm loving it I haven't put it away for a while I know people saying that when you use it you know it just keeps your makeup intact and I agree okay when I put this on my makeup just stays intact the whole time so I do do love this product you guys and voila you guys this is my complete look please do let me know what you think uh the whole i look and the whole new products that i use on the channel today the tati beauty blender for i think my makeup is blended so perfectly that product whenever i use it my makeup is not shiny there's something with a blender for but the makeup is not shiny at all so please do let me know what you think of the blender for and if you want to see the full review please go check out my other channel madame's channel i'll put a link so you can go check it out and yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really do appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you again on my next video so yeah stay tuned Bye. Bye.